If you're running a system that uses Arch Linux, you should be at least taking a passing glance at the Arch Linux news. Now, the reason for this is one thing in particular, and that is for dealing with manual intervention. So, from time to time, if you haven't run across this yet, basically from time to time there'll be some change within a package that causes something to break and you need to manually fix it. And the easiest way to find out about these problems is by actually keeping an eye on the Arch Linux news. So let's just go over to my main screen and have a look at a couple of different ways we can do this. So this is the Arch Linux website. You've probably looked at this a ton of times before. You might not have even noticed this section down here. So this section down here is basically what I'm going to show you how to look at today. So obviously, yes, you can just look at the website if you want to, but there are some different ways you can do it. And if you don't really want to open a web browser just to look at this, then there are some easier ways we can do it as well, but this will give you all of the news that you care about. But let's go and have a look at some of the potentially easier ways to do this. If we look on the side here, we can see this mailing list link. So let's just have a look at this. Now, if we look in here, there is a bunch of different mailing lists in here. Like there's Arch Announce, Arch Commits, Arch DevOps, Arch Events. There's some AUR stuff down here. There's some Arch Security, some Pac-Man stuff. So you can sign up for any of these mailing lists and basically, it'll function as a mailing list. The one we care about today, though, is Arch Announce. So let's have a look at this one. Basically, just put in your details here. You can set up a password. So if you want to disconnect from the mailing list, then you can log back in and do that. But this is one of the ways you can do it. Personally, I don't really want to get email notifications all the time from Arch. I'd much rather go about my way. So another thing you can do in here is actually have a look at the Arch Linux Announce archives. And the nice thing about this website is because, as you can see, it's so simple. One of the cool things you can do with this, this, is, this wasn't one of my intended things to show you, but one thing you can do with this is actually put it into W3M. So if we have a look at this, as you see, it basically looks pretty much the same. So we can open up, say, the March thread and have a look at everything that happened during March. Now, I don't ever use this method. But if you do want to do that, then you can. But once again, like with just looking at the homepage, I don't really see the point of having to open up a web browser just to look at some news. There is some easier ways to do it. My preferred method isn't actually to do it like this. So my preferred method, if we come down further on the website, we will see in here there is some RSS feeds. So that news archives thing is here as well. So if you want to see the, the news without having to go through the mailing list, the news archive is here as well. This I don't really care about that. Let's look at the thing that I actually care about, and that is the RSS feeds. So if you don't know what an RSS feed is, basically it's a feed of information structured in XML, and basically you can just look at any of the, the news items that come up in it. So for example, the one we care about today is the news feed. So I'm, I'm not sure what it's actually called on this page. Oh, it's this one right at the top here, okay. <laughs> So this one right here is the one that we care about. So if we just copy this link here and I go over to my config for Newsboat. So that is the program that I'm using as my RSS feed reader. And I've already got the link in here, but basically all you'd have to do is dump the link in here and then it'll try to load that into your RSS feed reader. So let's just open that up in my terminal. You can use really any RSS program. I just like Newsboat just because it's really light and it's, yeah, it's really light. You don't really need much else for an RSS program. So when you first open it, it's going to say that there's nothing available. But if you try to refresh it, then it's going to try to load stuff up. Mine says there's nothing available just because I've already read everything. But this will be basically individual posts of all of that stuff we saw. Now, the benefit of doing it like this is that you don't even have to really bother looking at anything that you don't care about. So say we don't care about this firewall thing. I don't have to bother even looking anything past the title. Or say I don't care about this Planet Arch Linux migration or anything like this. Say the only thing I care about on here is, I don't know, this Xorg stuff. So if we just search for Xorg, that'll just basically filter everything out that we don't care about and just bring up this Xorg one. So we can read this and we can see, oh, okay, so Xorg Proto is breaking this dependency and it's breaking this dependency and this and this. So then you can also see down the bottom here that it'll tell you everything you need to do to actually get it working. And that is the really nice thing about the Arch Linux news. It doesn't just say, hey, this is broken. It also says, okay, it's broken. 
but how do we fix it? And that's that's one of the really nice things about it. So one of the ones I had to deal with recently was this NSS one. And pretty much it says right here what you have to do, just pretty much copy this into another terminal and, you, and you'll be done basically. And that's all you have to do, which is really nice to see that they actually put the effort in to tell people how to fix it. Another way obviously you can find out about this stuff is if you're on Reddit all the time. I wouldn't really recommend being on Reddit in the first place or 4chan for that matter. But if you are, typically someone's gonna mention the really popular problems. If you have a, I guess a bit more of an obscure problem though, then other people might not really mention it. It might be some package that like a hundred people have installed. So in those cases, it's probably not gonna come up on those popular message board websites. So in that case, you're gonna have to actually go and look at the news. Now, there are some other ways we can do this as well. And these other ones are actually involving terminal applications. So this first program I'm gonna look at is a program called Arch News, or in the AUR, it is also called Arch News 2. Now, I'm not sure about the reason for this name. I'm gonna assume that there's probably another program called Arch News, or maybe there was just an older version of this program also called Arch News. Not sure, but anyway, this in the AUR is called Arch News 2. So if you wanna install that, basically you can go yay dash s arch Arch News 2, and that'll pretty much install that, or you can go through the manual method, whatever your preferred means of actually installing programs from the AUR is. But anyway, before we get to that, what does this actually do? So it's basically a little Python application that'll do the pretty much the same thing as our RSS feed reader. So if you don't have an RSS feed reader, or you just don't really care about RSS in any other context besides the Arch Linux news, this might make sense to run, Personally, I'm not a big fan of it just because I do just have that RSS feed reader. So that is my preferred method to do it. But there is one cool thing you can do with this. Now, it says that there's this little alias you can work with, but I think it might be set up in a, in a terrible way, basically. So I think the script is set up to assume bash when it shouldn't be assuming bash. So it doesn't actually run on my system, but there's a, another way you can do basically what it's doing. So pretty much all it's doing is running Arch News and then running sudo pacman syu. So you can do the same thing on your terminal by just doing uh, Arch News and then go sudo pacman syu. And that'll pretty much just run Arch News and then it'll try to synchronize your databases. So we can just scroll back up here and see like, okay, is there any, is there any news in here we care about? No, we don't care about hplip. Oh, maybe NSS is useful. Oh, what about ZN Poly? Nah, we don't care about this. And then obviously you can go down here and have a look at any of the things that need to be updated. So yeah, that works as you'd expect it to. So this is pretty much just a stripped down way to look at an RSS feed. So you can do things like Arch News and then say you want the most recent post or you could say you want the most recent two posts. Or if we have a look at the man page for this, there's some other stuff you can do as well. None of it is really too crazy. You can do things like change the wrap size. You can disable color. You can set brief mode on and off. You can change the locale. You can reverse it. So if we do arch news dash R, that'll basically just change the ordering that stuff is shown to you. So now is that the, that is the newest one is shown first and then the older stuff is shown later. So I don't know why this isn't just like the default setting for it, but anyway, that is basically what reverse does. So I wouldn't recommend running this unless you just don't care about RSS in any other context. However, the other program we're gonna look at is very, very similar to this. However, it actually does do something that does make it pretty useful. Okay, so here's the second program we're gonna look at. So this one is called Informant. This one I think is a bit more popular than Arch News and there's a very good reason for that. So this is the AUR page for Informant. So if you wanna install that, just go yay dash s informant and then go through the process of installing that basically. It works as you would expect it to and you can see here basically what the application is. So it's an Arch Linux newsreader and Pac-Man hook. So that is the reason why this program is actually useful. What this program does when you install it is it sets up a Pac-Man hook so that when you go to actually use Pac-Man, basically it's gonna say, hey, have you read the Arch Linux news yet? And if you haven't, it's gonna stop the update. and that might seem a bit annoying, but it is really useful to know that 
if you ever do have any problems, it's going to stop you before those problems actually happen and say, hey, make sure you're actually checking the news before you actually go and do something that might break your system. So if we just run that now, I, th I think I haven't read the, the latest news. So if we go sudo pacman-syu and we try to update, I think there's a news item I haven't looked at through informant. So if we try to update now, it should stop us, I believe. First, it's going to try to download stuff and it's going to check the news and we give it a sec and no, I guess I must have already checked the latest news through the Arch News Informant thingy. But as you saw, this isn't there by default. So this is something that Informant actually added to our system that basically wasn't there on our vanilla system. So you can also run Informant outside of that Pac-Man hook as well. And there's three main commands you use and those are basically check, list and read or read. I Read? I think it's read. Yeah, read would make more sense there. So informant check will basically check if there is any news that you can look at. And as we can see, we have nothing here. Informant read will basically let you read any of the stuff that's there. So if we go informant read dash dash all, if I had one or more news item, it would basically let me read all of it and then mark it all as read. And informant list will basically list out all of the news items. Now, the one problem I've noticed with Informant is I don't believe there's a way to go back and read any news that you've already read. I haven't noticed a way to do it, so this might be a bit of a problem with this application. I would have thought that doing something like read all would let you go back and read stuff you've already read, but no, read all basically lets you mark everything as being read. And yeah, I don't believe there's actually a way to go back and look at older news, which is a bit of a problem. And if all you want is a way to make it so you're forced to read the Arts Linux news before you actually go to update, Informant actually is a really good method to do this. Now, you could also go and do this with something like Arch News as we saw before, but Arch News doesn't actually have that built into it. So you're gonna have to go and actually build that functionality yourself. But the nice thing about Informant is it actually just comes with this installation of the program. So when you install an Informant, the Pac-Man hook is set up and it, it's basically just good to go. So you don't really have to do anything else, which is really nice to see. I said that my preferred method is to do this through the RSS feed through something like Newsboat. So what exactly is the reason for that? Now, I don't really care about reading every single news item that comes out for Arch. Now I know that generally I should, probably should be checking it more often than I do. And if you're someone who really wants to make sure they're always checking it, then use Informant. But generally, all I care about is the manual intervention stuff. Now, I know the stuff that requires manual intervention that isn't as obvious as things like a soname link changing or a soname link being added. There are some stuff that is a bit more subtle than that that might cause some problems down the line. So for stuff like that, I probably should be checking every couple of days, every week, whatever it is like that. Or I should be using Informant. And... I would say you should probably do the same, but the reason I don't use Informant is because a lot of the news I generally don't care about because a lot of it is fixing packages that I just don't use. I typically just wait until I have a problem, which with those subtle problems might be a bit of an issue, but I haven't run into anything like that at this point and I kind of like living life on the edge. I would recommend using Informant if you want to be using, I guess, the most assured method that you always know about the news. The problem with Informant though is apparently it will break from time to time. So you'll have to manually force it to disable for a bit and then you can go and update and then you can re-enable it. But I haven't run into anything like that through the week or so that I've been using Informant. So at least for me, it's been pretty solid. Maybe it was worse in the past. I'm not really sure what the history of the application was. And as for email, I don't really want every single art news item just cluttering up my email box. As I was saying before, I already don't care about a lot of the news items that happen. I don't really want a bunch of emails about them as well. I already get enough emails from things I don't care about. I don't need more of them. Before I end the video, I want to thank my patrons, Nathan, Andre, Road, LQ, Larry, Ray, and Zilver, because they help make this channel possible, and without them, I wouldn't be doing this as well today. So if you want to support the channel on Patreon, or if you just want to have your name read out at the end of the video, there'll be a link to my Patreon down below. If you want to monetarily support the channel, but you don't want to do it through Patreon, there's some other links down below, like my Amazon affiliate links, where you can buy the gear I use for these videos, or just really whatever else you want. I've also got my social links, and so my Discord, and my Telegram, and my alternate video platforms, my BitTube, and my library. Also remember to smash the like button and leave me a comment down below. And remember to subscribe and ding the little bell icon down below as well. So I think that's pretty much everything for me and... 
I'm out.